Hello again, everyone, and welcome back again for another video. As you can see, I'm not dead from COVID, so, uh, hey, let's carry on and do something else today. Um, what we're going to do today is uh, I'm actually going to show you a little bit about uh, organizing your MP3s. Um, I do have some computer builds coming up. The next one coming up is actually going to be pretty badass, so badass that uh, I actually took it up to the body shop to have it painted just because it's a little little complex for me and it's going to be pretty neat. But uh, like I said, we're going to talk about MP3s today. Now, I've been collecting MP3s while stealing MP3s <laughs> for 20-some years now, ever since, you know, uh, they had the first one was at like uh, Tom's Diner. It came out in like the early 90s, mid-90s. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've been downloading since then, and uh, so I have a huge collection of them, and you might be the same as me, you might download a lot of MP3s, and maybe have a huge collection of them on your computer, or a lot of music files and what have you, that you want to um, maybe rename, maybe they're not looking the way that you want them to look, and the program that we're going to use to do that today is called Zortam MP3 Media Studio. Now, this is actually a, a pretty cheap program, I what did I pay for this? 16 I want to say? $16, and I think that's for a lifetime. I can't remember right offhand. But um, I, I've looked around for all different kinds of uh, music uh, programs to use to uh, rename MP3s and to organize my library and what have you. And this is probably the only one that I've found that really, really does the job well. Um, but let me quit babbling here. Let me let me kind of show you what this thing does. And I'm going to go over here to my desktop here. Let me look under this PC. We'll go to my secondary drive under my music. Now, I did this on purpose just to show you this. We'll go to the Eagles here. Here's my uh, collection of Eagles music. Now, if you look right under here under file, this is actually what the name of the file is. Let me actually go to my uh, search thing here and I'll show you this under the here we go this is the name of the files right now currently um, as you can see the names are all kind of garbled up and random I, I just I did that on purpose I kind of put some random letters in there to, to name them just for this demonstration and if you look right here it says artist title album artist uh, album artist genre none of that's there what that's called is an id3 tag excuse me an itch an id3 tag and they also have id2 tags and what have you but we're not going to talk about what those are the important thing is is that we're going to get these tags in here properly and that's also going to allow us to rename these files properly now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take all these files that i have in here now let, let me back up here and show you what i did there uh a little bit let me let me actually just get rid of these real fast delete From library only basically all you're doing is you're going in and you're looking for your folder that has music like right over here on the right hand side of the screen you can see where my cursor is here's my music abba los bookies duran duran eagles um all i did was just open up the folder with all the eagles songs in it that are like i said named kind of uh tacky here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all with this little button right here and uh i'm going to right click on it and you could do it another way too and i'm going to click send to auto tagger now there's a button up here for that too uh that you can click uh but we're going to push this auto tag button and i want you to watch what happens now it's going to go on the internet here and it's going to take all 17 of these songs and uh, it's going to reference them and see if it can find the names of them, uh, the artist, the album, all that information for you. And as you can see, it's filling in that information as I'm uh, talking with you. Uh, and we'll let this finish up here. There's only a couple more seconds to go. All right, so now that it's done that, we can actually go to this and make some changes to it if we want. Um, like this right here, this one says Joe Karen, Hotel California. Well, now, we know it's not him, so we can actually take that and go Eagles, and then click Save Tag. Um, we'll actually highlight all these since we put the new tags in and click save tag so that all of them are the same tag now this one here you notice is a little different it says eagles not or it says the eagles not eagles we can change that one too uh save tag 
Okay, so now if we look at this list, all our songs look right. The artist is right, the track of the song is right, the album is eh, pretty much right. Sometimes, you know, this is a little different because lots of songs come on different albums. But uh, you can change this around if you want to. Um, so now that we have these all saved, what we can do, we can go ahead and we can select all these again and right click on them. And we're going to rename the files using existing tags. Now, you could put special uh, characters in here however you want it. You got artist, title, album, track, year, genre, space, dash, delete. Um, if you look at mine right here under custom tags, because I entered a custom tag with percent one, which is the artist, space, dash, space, percent two, which is title. So we should rename all these artist title. Uh, so let's go ahead and click rename and let's watch what happens here. There we go. We look over here on the side here and we can see that all these Eagle songs have been renamed except for this one. Now you notice right here, this says Desperado, this says Desperado. So what that probably means is, is it either came up with the wrong name of the song or maybe I've got duplicates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play each of these. And that's not Desperado. That, of course, uh, would be, uh, who cares, baby? Up on, uh, what's it? What's that song called? Jesus, it's the Eagles. Um, I can't think of the name of the song now. Holy shit. It's going to come to me. I can't tell you why. That's what it is. I can't. <laughs> that's terrible. I can't remember that song. Um, all right, so we'll name it the right name, save tag, and uh, we'll select all these files again, and then we're going to tell it to do the same thing, tag operations, oops, uh, rename tags, I'm sorry, go ahead there, rename, there we go, now we can see it's correctly named, now this run right here, See, all these on the side here says File Eagles, and it shows you the names of the song. Now, if we go look in our folder, um, you can see all the Eagle songs have been properly named. And you can actually even go by track if it comes off the same album. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, check that out, guys. It was all jumbled up when this video started. Now, it's all properly named. Now, I went ahead and did that to all my mp3s and i've got a little bit over 3,000 of them i'm not like some of you guys that collect like 50 million of them but all my mp3s now as you can see are uh properly named properly spaced yeah that's the way i like it and it uh, never used to be like that until i started using uh this program again this is called uh zortam mp3 media studio um, like I said, it's not a bad price. It's like 16 bucks. You get a permanent license for it, a forever license. You get all the updates and what have you. Uh, it really does make organizing your music a lot easier, and it's something you guys might want to check out. So uh, that's going to be the end of this video. <clears throat> like I said, I do have a build coming up, and it's actually going to be my daughter's. Right now, I have it up at the shop getting painted. Um, and then we got some other builds, but I want to do my daughter's first because, you know, she's a brat. And I always have to prioritize her. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do my daughter's next, her upgrade from her uh, Toadette Tower to something really, really cool. Like I said, really cool. I'm actually jealous. Um, but uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will see you again in the next one. I will talk to you later. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Uh,